Hello everyone. Um, we're counting down to the W12 now, the launch of the W12. So we imagine that there's probably lots of burning questions out there. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to update you a little bit about what's going on back here in the factory. It's a strange year, this one. It feels like it's going smoothly back here and we hope it is going smoothly, but it's such a different start to the year for us that there's a little part of us just nagging away in the back of our heads going, have we forgotten something? Because unlike in a normal year where we would have a billion new bits all streaming in from all four corners of the earth uh, to put together the new car right at the last minute, this year's a little different because much of what we are going to launch uh, with the W12 has already seen action uh, on the track in 2020. And so instead of having all that new inventory uh, being tested here, there and everywhere and being assembled uh, in sub-assemblies and then onto the real car, um, we have instead uh, more of a a sort of management job of making sure that our stocks are level at the right level, that we are um, putting all the things we need to in the right places and that we're doing the testing of the things that have changed um, rather than the entire car. And so because that's such a change of rhythm, it does make us worry, have we missed something? And we're, we're busy, uh, of course, just trying to make sure we double check and triple check that we haven't so that by the time we're ready to put things in aeroplanes and send them off to tracks, that we, we don't have any embarrassing emissions. Although it is an unusual year, and although COVID has forced on us a whole bunch of different rhythms, there are some things that just don't change. We're coming up to a new season. We've got all the fun and excitement ahead of us of finding out whether the work we've done is sufficient to produce a competitive car. And that excitement is always matched by another emotion, which is anxiety. Because we exist for one purpose, and that is to produce a racing car that's capable of fighting at the front and hopefully securing wins and championships. And at this stage of the year, you hope, you hope you've done enough work, but we're never certain until the cars are actually on a track doing it for real. And so alongside all that excitement, is the fear and that fear nagging away continuously at you uh, the moment you open your eyes in the morning all the way through the day until you go to bed at night the fear of that you haven't done enough and although it is can be a bit wearing that fear it is part of the cocktail of excitement that is being part of formula one and it's something that you learn to live with over the seasons but it's always felt at its most sharp at this time of year Every part of the company at this time of year is very, very busy. So it seems difficult to actually pick out uh, a single thing or even a small number of things as particularly challenging. But I guess if I had to pick one, then I would focus on the changes to the aerodynamic regulations because they came relatively late in the year and they have quite a significant impact on the car's performance. So much of our focus over the last weeks and months has been trying to understand what the effect of those changes were on the main flow fields around the car, how to try to find back the performance that is lost when you first adopt those new regulations. So a very uh, intense period in the wind tunnel and in our computational uh, aerodynamic facility to try and understand how to get that performance back on the car. And then once we've made that improvement in the aerodynamics department to then translate that into components that are built full size and put on the car in time for the new season. I think for us, as it is for everybody else, working in a pandemic has been not much fun. But I do think that we've been particularly lucky, lucky in a couple of regards. Firstly, the sport did take some fairly sensible decisions last year sensible decisions that allowed us to build a new car without having to go right back to a clean sheet of paper in the way that we would normally do when approaching a new car project. That means that lots of aspects of the car we've been able to carry over from material we already possess, so things like the chassis, things like the gearbox, and that has taken a lot of the burden away from us. 
when in a period where capacity, both external to the company and also the working practices inside the company, have meant that it is a very welcome relief not to have to do absolutely everything that we would do in a normal car build. But the other thing that we're very fortunate with is that we have good facilities here and space, space that has allowed us to spread out and get the sort of social distancing that we needed to do in order to keep everyone safe while trying to build the new car. So while it's lacked some of the colour and fun that we might have normally had over the winter while we're doing everything absolutely at full steam uh, with a normal type of car build, we've been lucky that we've had an environment and a task that has been manageable even under the constraints imposed on us by the pandemic. 2021 is a big year for the entire sport. It's the first year of the new financial regulations, the so-called cost cap, a set of regulations that forces the budgets of the big teams down to meet that of the midfield and where we all basically have the same financial firepower uh, to go about prosecuting the championship. And that has been a very interesting change here inside Mercedes because we were and are one of the bigger teams in Formula One. And so we've had to figure out how can we operate our championship assault with far less financial resource than we might have had previously which means figuring out how to try and get components on our car to last longer, how to build them more cheaply, and how to make sure we maintain the same sort of performance that we did previously, despite the fact that our overall budget has come down. It's a huge challenge. Building the car is only part of it. We then have to operate the car, we have to develop the car, we have to do the entire season with all the uncertainties that we face in terms of how often it might crash or things be unreliable that then need resource spent into them to fix that. Probably the biggest weapon we could possibly have to attack these new financial regulations in a good way would be to launch with a car that is fast, fast from the beginning, because a car that is fast from the beginning is going to be cheaper to stay quick during the whole season. So let's hope that we put enough goodness into this car at the beginning of the year to allow our plans to unfold in a way that sees us operating at a high level under this new constraint where we're fighting with exactly the same guns as everybody else. The season hasn't even begun yet. No car has even launched, no one has turned a wheel. And yet we're already starting to think very seriously about 2022. 2022 brings a complete revolution in the technical regulations of the car. The sort of things we've seen racing for the last few seasons will be dead and gone at the end of this year, replaced instead by a new generation of car which has a completely different technical objective, which is one where we have created regulations that try to make the racing closer by making the lead car damage the performance of the, of the trailing car by lesser amounts than they do today. This change is so large and the car is so different that we're going to have to spend a large part of our technical resource during 2021 in order to make sure that we're ready with a good car that can then see us in, uh, in good shape for the years that follow in 22 and beyond. So we're busy doing that in a world where we're cost capped, where we haven't yet started racing, and where we have to manage our total resource so that we can prosecute an effective campaign in 2021, but build for the future for this exciting new set of regulations for 2022.